Didn't scare you, huh? Not really scary. That's fine, though. <laughs> Yo! It's Vita here. Welcome to the next episode of Tea Time, where we sip tea and have a talk about the world and what's going on with it and why that's important to discuss. So let's just get into it. Let's talk about safety pins. If you've been following the news at all, then you've probably heard about the idea of the safety pins. Some of you might be thinking, no, I haven't. What's that about? Well, I'll tell you. So the United States of America, post the election, has been participating in something that originally started in the UK. Some of y'all may know about the incident involving Brexit where the United Kingdom decided that the European Union was just doing too much. It was just like doing the most or something. And they were like, I want a divorce. So Brexit, also known as Britain exit or British exit. Yeah, that's a thing. Well, what happened was immigration started to become a little bit of a situation. And by a little bit of a situation, I mean a situation strong enough that they would literally have to call it a crisis. The UK has been receiving refugees who have been seeking asylum for the longest time. There are undocumented people in the UK who have fled very, very dangerous situations that are not my story, so I won't speak on that, but I might put an article in the description below. As a result of this immigration crisis in the UK, violence started to happen in the direction of refugees and undocumented people. Now, this is starting to sound a little bit familiar, right? Yep, good old America coming in clutch. So people in the UK started doing this thing where they would wear a safety pin on their outfit to show that if anything oppressive was happening or if anyone was trying to cause a problem, that you could be protected. This is important because there were a lot of verbal and physical assaults um, directed mostly at people of color who were already running away from an oppressive system so they could find some peace and some semblance of freedom somewhere else. So inherently, seems like a pretty good idea. Fast forward, and we're at post-election United States 2016. Donald Trump's just been elected president. I wanna say for the record on this video that 50% of white cisgender women voted for Trump. But we're all in this together, right? Cool. Thanks though. So clearly, this has been nothing short of a nightmare for a lot of marginalized people in the country. We're talking about undocumented Latinx folks, undocumented Muslim people, we're talking about refugees, asylum seekers, we're talking about trans people, people of color, queer people, you know? We're talking about a lot of people who are afraid right now. So, in a very similar way to how the UK did it, people here in the United States have also been wearing safety pins to say, if something goes down, I got you. If you need anything, I got you, I'm there. In my head, I think, what a novel concept. That's really cool, right? What started to get a little confusing was when I saw people starting to make profit off of this. If you saw my video series about the Pulse Orlando shooting, you remember that this is familiar. There were plenty of people who would sell pulse rings and like different sort of merch and hats and stuff and give next to none of the profits to the people who actually needed it so they could keep making money, right? Cause that's what it's about, yeah? Anyway, same thing's happening here with these safety pens. In the description below, there's a website to a gallery that literally had 13 of them all for sale. Particularly one that I want to point out was one that was made from Mark Jacobs. If anyone remembers Mark Jacobs, the lovely person who decided to put all these white women in dreadlocks for a fashion show. Yeah, great guy. Gotta love Mark Jacobs. People have literally turned something that was supposed to be a sign of solidarity for marginalized people who are afraid for their lives into a fashion statement for money. And so, people of color are skeptic. Trans people are skeptic. You know, the disabled people are skeptic. Undocumented people are skeptic. And we should be. We have every reason to be. There's an article that also talks about that in the description below this video. It occurred to me that people might not necessarily know what it means to be wearing the safety pins. The whole safety pin thing makes me think about the whole allies versus accomplices narrative. People who call themselves allies might not necessarily take the actions needed to protect someone when they're in trouble. Those people are accomplices. 
And so the safety pin means you're saying that you will be willing to be an accomplice. So we'll do a little test. What I will do is list a series of scenarios in which case someone wearing a safety pin might have to get involved. If after hearing that prompt, you decide you're not the person who is capable of doing said thing, then by all means, take the pin off. Okay, are we ready? I'm so excited. Scenario, you're on a train, it's packed. You see someone saying an Islamophobic comment and harassing a Muslim person on a train. Are you willing to react? If your answer was no, take the pin off. Say you see a person of color pulled over by a significant amount of police. People of color are known to get attacked and even killed in situations where they're stopped by police officers. Do you document? Are you willing to document? There's so many scenarios that we can use. Swastikas have been getting painted on school grounds. People have been physically attacked in public. That was happening even before Trump was elected. Now it's just getting worse. If any of those situations happen, are you willing to do something in that moment because that's what your pin says if you're not willing to do whatever you're needed to do in that moment then um take the pin off yeah what she said at the end of the day i have no inherent issue with the safety pins if you're willing to back that up safety pins without actions are just safety pins i drink tea but uh kind of out of ally cookies this is good, yo. This is really good. Thank you so much for checking out this video. There will be more videos coming. If you like this video, please like this video. If you think more people need to see this video, please share this video. And if you are new to t -Walk Poetry, welcome, love ya. Subscribe to this channel and you can see what else is coming up. That being said, all my loved ones, I want you to take care of yourselves out there. We'll take care of each other as best as we can. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. I witness you. I love you, and I lift you. This is V to E for tea time. Peace.